2021 is bound to be an exciting year. In fact, we'd go as far as to say it might become a historic year, as many records that are on the books currently are dangerously close to being surpassed by quite a few players in the league right now. You've all heard the saying by now, records were made to be broken. Among the records set in 2020, there was Tom Brady becoming the oldest quarterback to guide his team to a Super Bowl championship, and he also moved ahead of Drew Brees for most career passing touchdowns. Quarterback Justin Herbert and receiver Justin Jefferson rewrote the record books for rookies at their respective positions. So, which NFL records stand to be broken next? Some will no doubt be toppled this season, while others might need a bit of luck. With all that said, here are 10 NFL records that we can see getting broken in 2021. Most Passing Yards in a Career Tom Brady already holds practically all the key quarterback records, most Super Bowl rings, most career wins, and most career touchdown passes. Drew Brees missed five games in 2019 and four games last season, and now he's retired, so Brady has a cakewalk to the all-time passing yards title. Brees sits at 80,358, while Brady is not far behind at 79,204. Brady will easily break this record at some point in 2021. There's a chance that his return to Foxborough in week 4 will be the day he does it. Just how fitting would that be? This is the last significant record for Brady to break, and he'll hold it for at least 15 to 20 years unless Patrick Mahomes, Trevor Lawrence, or somebody else just totally goes off for unhuman-like numbers over the next decade. That is a big if, though. Anyway, yeah, Brady doesn't have anything else to accomplish at this stage of his career except for a few more personal records. The all-time passing yards title is right within his grasp. Look for him to break it within the first five games of 2021. Most rushing yards in a season. The addition of a 17th game means that Eric Dickerson's long-standing record will likely end in the coming years. If Adrian Peterson had a 17th game in 2012, he would have smashed it. Derrick Henry probably would have broken the record as well last season if he had a 17th game to do it. Dickerson still holds the single-season rushing yards record with 2,105, which was set in 1984. There have only been eight 2,000-yard rushing seasons in history. Just two of them have come since 2010. Henry rushed for 2,027 yards last year and route to Offensive Player of the Year honors. As great as he is, it might be difficult for him to repeat that feat. The Tennessee Titans may want to cut back on Henry's workload and keep him fresh for the final stretch in postseason after all. But don't rule out Henry just yet. And let's not forget about the likes of Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, or even Dalvin Cook, who had 1,557 rushing yards in just 14 games last season. There are plenty of workhorse running backs who could make a hard push for Dickerson's record. And like we said, said, that 17th game makes their chances that much greater. Worst single season win-loss record The 2008 Detroit Lions and 2017 Cleveland Browns have the dishonors of sharing the worst single season win-loss record. As you all know, they both managed to go a humiliating 0-16. and 16. Well, we aren't fully ruling out the possibility of some team outdoing these two terrible squads. There's gonna be a few very very bad football teams in 2021. The rebuilding Detroit Lions don't have Matthew Stafford to steal them a few games anymore. Their talent level is pretty thin on both sides of the ball. The Jacksonville Jaguars will probably be better this year with Trevor Lawrence, but what if he's overwhelmed by the transition to the NFL? Maybe the Jaguars go 0-17. Who knows? They came awfully close last season with a 1-15 record despite winning their Week 1 contest. And then there's the New York Jets, who weren't much better better than the Jags with just two wins last year. If rookie quarterback Zach Wilson isn't ready for the NFL, then 0-17 also stands out as a possibility for Gang Green. Call us crazy, but uh, we wouldn't be all that surprised if one of these teams went 0-17. They're seriously that bad. Most catches by a tight end in a single season. This is a sure bet to be broken in the very near future, so why not in 2021? 
Zach Ertz set the record with the Philadelphia Eagles back in 2018, notching a whopping 116 catches. In 2020, Darren Waller of the Las Vegas Raiders had 107, and Kansas City Chiefs superstar Travis Kelsey had 105. If Waller and Kelsey had that 17th game on their schedule, they could have totally broken this record last season. Waller, Kelsey, and George Kittle are the NFL's three best tight ends. But TJ Hawkinson of the Lions is also a candidate, especially given the lack of playmaking receivers on their roster. And Atlanta Falcons rookie Kyle Pitts, perhaps the most hyped up tight end prospect ever, could make a push for that record as well. We're in a golden era of tight ends, folks. When's the last time the league had this many superstars at the position? Even without the 17th game, this record would totally be within reach for the likes of Waller, Kelsey, and Kittle. But with another game on the schedule, there are several tight ends who could legitimately surpass Ertz mark from 2018. Most pass attempts per game, career. The retired Andrew Luck holds the record for most pass attempts per game in a career with 38.3. But new Los Angeles Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford is right behind him at 37.7 attempts per game. Yes, Stafford will now play in a more balanced offense as opposed to having to throw a ridiculous amount of passes on a Detroit team that tends to be playing from behind more often than not. But then again, Stafford is arguably a top 10 quarterback in the game. Sean McVay almost won a Super Bowl with Jared Goff. So with Stafford now leading his offense, why wouldn't McVay want to have him throw close to 40 passes per game? Especially with star running back Cam Akers ruled out for the year. For those who may be wondering, Jared Goff averaged 36.8 attempts per game for the Rams in 2020. And in 2019, he had a whopping 39.1 attempts per game. So with that in mind, do you really think McVay is about to throw the ball less often now that he actually has a quarterback? quarterback that he likes and can trust in Stafford? And even beyond the Rams quarterback, there's also the likes of Patrick Mahomes and Carson Wentz, who aren't far behind Luck's record, with 36.7 and 36.6 attempts per game respectively. Both players have played in much fewer games, meaning an increase in their pass attempts could have an even greater effect on their career average. In the end, Stafford is the clear-cut favorite here, but you might want to keep your eyes on Mahomes and Wentz as well. Most yards allowed in a season. The 2012 New Orleans Saints suffered dearly after the NFL handed out a plethora of punishments following the completion of their Bounty Gate investigation. Sean Payton was suspended the entire season, and the Saints just weren't the same without their legendary head coach. In 2012, the Saints' defense allowed 7,042 total yards of offense, far and away the most ever in a single season. The previous record was held by the 1981 Baltimore Colts, who allowed 6,793 yards against. Well, there are several defensive units that should be downright awful in 2021. The Lions should be considered the favorites to finish dead last again. In 2020, they allowed 6,716 yards of offense. This team is still in rebuilding mode and you should not expect much improvement in 2021. And let's not forget about that extra 17th game, which will put this unwanted record within reach. The Texans are also another contender here. They allowed 6,668 yards in 2020. With future Hall of Famer JJ Watt no longer on the roster, there's a good chance that the Texans defense fares even worse this season. Possibly even historically worse. And then there's the young Jacksonville Jaguars defense which allowed the second most yards in 2020 at 6,683. Improvement feels inevitable, but who knows, maybe not. Finally, the Falcons, who have consistently fielded one of the NFL's worst defenses over the past decade, should be in the running for this record as well. Plenty of contenders, so you gotta think one will do it, am I right? Most times sacked, career. This is another record that will undoubtedly be broken in 2021. Hall of Famer Brett Favre holds the record for most times sacked with 525. Brady is right behind him at 521. Unless the 2021 Bucks hire five Superman clones to guide their O-line, Brady is obviously going to surpass Favre. For what it's worth, the fewest sacks allowed by a team in a single season is seven. The Miami Dolphins reached that jaw-dropping feat back in 1988. But wait, Brady might not even be atop the leaderboard by season's end. 
That's because Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger has been sacked 518 times, ahead of John Elway for third most ever. And as you know, Pittsburgh lost three starters on their O-line this offseason, while Brady plays behind one of the NFL's top units. Both of them will most definitely surpass Favre's unwanted career total of 525 sacks. But can Roethlisberger manage to take less sacks and remain below Brady's total in 2021? The race is on! Most sacks in a single season. The official record book will tell you that the New York Giants legend Michael Strahan holds the single season sacks record with 22.5 set in 2001. But earlier this year, the good folks at Pro Football Reference reviewed film from Al Baker's 1978 rookie year with the Detroit Lions. They credit him with 23 sacks, which is deemed the unofficial record. Because you see, the league didn't start tracking sacks until 1982. Well, here's the thing. With an extended regular season schedule, perhaps neither Strahan nor Baker will hold that record for much longer. Aaron Donald of the Los Angeles Rams had 20.5 sacks in the 2018 season. This this guy is an absolute freak of nature and we would not rule out his chances of surpassing 23 sacks during a 17 game season. But hey, even Shaq Barrett got close to the record with 19.5 sacks in 2019. Chandler Jones had 19 that year. JJ Watt hit 20.5 in both 2012 and 2014. Donald, Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa, TJ Watt, and Miles Garrett are among the NFL's elite pass rushers who could seriously push for the sacks record in 2021. Obviously, a lot will have to go their way to make it happen. But hey, that extra game should help. Most Career Pro Bowl Selections Despite his magical age 43 Super Bowl winning season, Tom Brady did not earn that record-setting Pro Bowl selection in 2020. He also didn't earn one in 2019, his final year with the Patriots. Brady, Peyton Manning, Tony Gonzalez, Merlin Olsen, and Bruce Matthews are in a five-way tie for most career Pro Bowl selections with 14 apiece. Brady's play in 2020 was certainly Pro Bowl caliber if you ask us. But anyway, a Super Bowl is a fine alternative. That said, setting the record for most career Pro Bowl nods would only add some gravy to his GOAT status. And once he gets that record, it might never be broken. Let's see if Brady can once again hold off Father Time and break yet another impressive record in his second season as a Buccaneer. Most passing yards in a season Peyton Manning holds the record for most passing touchdowns and passing yards in a season with 55 and 5,477 respectively. Both those feats were set in 2013 when he engineered the Broncos to the highest scoring offense ever. Since that year, four quarterbacks have hit 5,000 passing yards. Drew Brees in 2016, Ben Roethlisberger and Patrick Mahomes in 2018, and Jameis Winston in 2019. If either of those men had a 17th game to work with, perhaps Manning's record would have been broken by now. So now, every quarterback has an extra game to surpass 5,477 passing yards. Mahomes is obviously the favorite, but there are a plethora of candidates. Brady, Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Matthew Safford, Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, and, well, the list goes on and on. Who's to doubt any of these guys? That 17th game can sure make a difference with a record like this. Manning averaged 342.3 passing yards per game in 2013. Mahomes has averaged 307.7 for his career. The NFL is an offense-driven league and the rules make it harder and harder for defenses each year, especially against the pass. So, yes, Manning's record is in big time jeopardy and will surely be broken in the very near future. We're betting it happens in 2021. Book it. But which other NFL records could be broken in 2021? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.